It's what gets us up in the morning. It keeps us thinking at night. It taps into our strengths and inspirations. It's the charge we get when an idea connects. A concept becomes reality. It's the satisfaction we feel when we can financially sustain ourselves and our families. It's impact and momentum. It's trying and failing and finding success. It's the spirit of small business, and it's what we're celebrating today. Pacific Coast Business Times honors the Spirit of Small Business Award winners and acknowledges their drive and inspirations. Aloha Spirit is one of the key elements applied in Dr. Janice Shinkawa's and Dr. Jill Maroka Lim's startup veterinary venture. Ohana Pet Hospital evokes a warm family environment that comes from Jill and Jan's island upbringing. Ohana means family in Hawaiian, and so we want to give them that feeling of you matter to us. You know, you are like my auntie or my uncle or my cousin back home in Hawaii. And that's the feeling that you get when you go to Hawaii. Hopefully you get that feeling, but where everyone's treated very, you know, genuinely and welcomed. And, and that's the feeling that we want to give people is that you matter to us. We want to take care of your pet the best way we can. And we want to make a positive difference. Today, under the partnership of four female veterinarians, including Dr. Nikki Quinn and Dr. Kate Byrne, Ohana Pet Hospital is expanding its space and personnel to accommodate a more holistic approach to medicine. We also uh, offer holistic services, like acupuncture, chiropractic medicine, and energy healing, uh, as well as physical therapy and rehab medicine. Western medicine can only do so much. It's nice to have an integrative practice so that you can offer both Western and Eastern forms of medicine and therapies. Because so, the goal is to get the pet better at, you know, whatever method we're using. Each doctor offers a complementary interest and skill set to the business, which helps Ohana thrive and prosper. There's actually four equal owners of the practice. It's myself, Dr. Jill, Dr. Kate, and Dr. Nikki. Um, we're all, uh, we all did this together. And what it meant to us was that we were going to take the steps to provide to the community what it is we always wanted to do, which was to offer uh, affordable, uh, good veterinary care to our pets, as well as to take care of our staff the way we wanted to, and the environment, because we are a green facility as well. According to Jan, the loyalty of their clientele is fostered through a sense of trust. They're bringing their beloved family member to us and trusting us with life decisions. And so that can be very tricky to gain their trust and in one session, in one meeting, uh, to the point where they're able to say okay to our treatment plans and allow us to do what we need to do to make that pet better or feel better. In between serving their paying clients, the Ohana team enjoys giving back to their underserved four-legged friends. With this new venture at Ohana, what we then wanted to do, since we had more room and more people to help with, uh, we wanted to help Ventura County Animal Services with their no-kill effort. I honestly think that the, the rescued pets are very grateful when someone adopts them. I get that sense and the owners tell me that and I really do think that they, they know they got a second chance on life. At the end of the day, Ohana strives to honor the gifts and contributions beloved pets bring to their humans. You know, pets provide us all with, with unconditional love and I think the support and what they give us is, is something that you know, we can never pay them back for. So if we can do our part in helping them out and helping to save these pets, I think that's a great thing.